Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about K-contents to the world OTT service into our life. 10 million 10 thousands, 3 million 950 thousands, 2 million 650 thousands. What does each number mean? They mean the number of monthly users of Netflix Wave TV, which are known to us as OTT services. OTT service is a abbreviation of over the top, which is type of service such as drama and movies by third company, along with existing telecommunication and broadcasting society. It is not only cheap, but also has no limited channels. They are not restricted in time and space, so the demand for this service is soaring. According to the Korean Broadcasting Society in 2019, the prospect and market swings of broadcasting service based on OTT was expected that the compound annual growth rates of the global OTT market will increase to 13.8%. But after COVID-19, the market of OTT service is expanding faster than we expected. Its compound annual growth rate of the global OTT market increased to 26.4%. Looking at the period of the growth of OTT services, the Korean wave was born, and cake contents including idol music videos were also spread. Now, OTT service has penetrated deeply into our life. Furthermore, digital culture is boosted with OTT services. The OTT service, which has many advantages, has contributed to the spread of K-content, so K-content should be used to develop the OTT industry and promote Korean culture. Even though there are many existing TV programs, the difference between TV and OTT is fierce transferring to OTT. The ratings for Embassy Drama, All Master, which ended on May 13th, were in the 1% range on TV. According to Nelson Korea, KBS 2 TV's Friday drama Imitation recorded 1% viewership in the first episode, 0.9% viewership in the second episode. Experts refer to the growth of OTT platform as one of the reasons for the decline in broadcasting viewership. According to the Korea Communication Commission 2019 survey on broadcasting and media usage, the utilization rate of OTT in Korea steadily increased to 35% in 2015, 36.1% in 2017, and 42.7% in 2018. As we explained above, OTT service is growing faster after COVID-19. Then, what differentiates OTT service from TV? First, users are provided with autonomy in time use. Unlike TV programs that we can watch only on a fixed schedule, OTT service allows us to view the unloaded content at our convenience. For example, it is possible to use OTT service when we spend time more efficiently, like eating alone and traveling by public transportation. Second, it has good content with remarkable plots. The contents of the OTT platform are not subject to broadcasting deliberation. Therefore, they are not reluctant to show social satire and bold production dealing with a variety of subjects and genres. For the reason, now the rating of TV programs are decreasing, whereas the user number of OTT services is increasing. In this circumstance, we need to look into how K-Content has succeeded in new media industry. K-Content is becoming well-known to foreign countries rapidly via OTT service, and a typical example for this phenomenon is K-pop and K-drama. First, we all know about the popularity of K-pop. In 2005, YouTube, one of the most influential OTT platforms, was launched. It helped Super Junior, which debuted in 2005, to be recognized in foreign countries with their songs or story. Through that, foreigners had a rising interest in K-pop and Korea. Super Junior opened the door to global society, and many idol groups revitalized as a result. Artists post a variety of content on OTT platforms, including music videos and travel vlogs from idols. Because of that, idols who have contents read more interest such as BTS and EXO, establishing strong fandom. Next is K-drama. We can see this clearly in the case of Descendants of the Sun. Descendants of the Sun had a lot of support, such as getting 300 million won by selling the drama time by the time. 
Also, in the case of Tebek, which was used for the filming sites of the drama, 330 visitors came just in two years, and 5,200 foreigners came to Korea only to see the filming sites. Also, because of foreigners who saw descendants of the sun in OTT services, the drama was sold in 32 countries. Like this, the OTT service contribute to imprinting Korea to the world with K-pop and K-drama. When we pay a monthly fee, we can watch content whenever we want and wherever we are, with not only TV but also smartphone and tablet. Because of this advantage, the subscription economy era has come. Korea's media business should change rather than stick to the existing structure. According to Song dong a professor of media communication at Jungang University, IPTV companies have launched strategy to log in subscribers by launching products combined with internet and mobile. So content investment should be supported to prevent their departure. Disney Plus and Apple TV Plus are also scheduled to land in South Korea this year. And telecommunication companies such as KT are also starting to jump into OTT services. Recently, Kakao TV has been paying attention to OTT service, with companies announcing plans to end their broadcasting revenue business and focus on planning, production, and distribution of original content. Like these cases, a lot of companies are paying attention to OTT service. With media consumption patterns changing rapidly, OTT service will have to provide high-quality content that will satisfy viewers' needs at reasonable prices to survive in the competition. Korea has gained lots of benefits from the rapid growth of the OTT service. We should make this an opportunity to promote K-content, including K-pop and K-drama, and promote Korean culture through it. Currently, only Netflix provides Korean content overseas. In addition, in addition to Netflix, South Korea's OTT services like Wave and TV need to enter overseas markets. It is necessary to increase rival boards that produce content for exports, to conduct translations and recordings in multiple languages, collect information from overseas, and attempt active global marketing. There is also a way to use K-format expert, which says domestic entertainment, drama's basic concept, composition, and production method to overseas production companies. To this end, it is necessary to study the social, cultural, and diplomatic aspects of OTT services K-content and OTT K-format service by expert. At a time when the development of media is rapidly changing, Korean culture needs to become a cultural powerhouse in the world. As the development of the OTT service has greatly affected the growth of K-content, OTT should try to promote Korea to the world and raise the status of the country in the future. Thank you.